And I want to thank you, Margie Holmes, for being on this podcast. I've always wanted to have a conversation with you. I grew, I, I grew up with your voice in my head, <laughs> telling me what to do, what I should do, what I should not do, oh. and how to do it well. <laughs> yes. Wow. But when you started talking about you know, uh-huh. the sexuality of the Filipino now, have you seen Filipino, or should I say Filipina, sexuality change? You know, I don't really think so. Because things like social media and all that, Oh, even Tinder. That's, these are all superficial. I mean, if you're the sort of person who's open, who doesn't mind having sex on the first day, it's just easier to do it now. But even many, 48, 108 years ago, there were women and men who liked to have sex on the Absolutely. first day. And Absolutely. Did. And uh, if you were a hypocrite then, you're still going to be a hypocrite That's now. a beautiful statement. Maybe because you, there's a lot of hypocrites. There's, huh? there's a lot of hypocrisy that yeah. happens on Facebook. I mean, courage is important. And I think for really good sex, you need courage. The best lays are people who have courage. Enjoying this conversation? Check out the Lonely Hearts podcast, where we have conversations in your behalf with the lonely hearts, minds, and misunderstood geniuses of this world. Together, you and I will help make sense of our own personal worlds in these uncertain times. Brought to you by Esquire Philippines. Available wherever you get your podcasts.